Breaking Down. What's happening, guys? Welcome to the Born Offside podcast. It's the newest football podcast you probably didn't know you needed, but take my word for it, you needed it because we're playing on that last shoulder. We're just playing on the last defender. Yes, we're talking football. We're talking a bit of everything else as well. And joining me in a star-studded midfield trio, <laughs> firstly, playing holding midfielder in at six, we've got Cat from kicking off with Cat. Welcome. Thank you. You know nice. why you're playing six, Cat? Tell me. You're playing six because I think you're the calmest head here. Okay. I think you can keep us a little bit grounded. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. You know, you're, you're, you you got a probably a bit more of a responsible opinion on football because we're going to need that because our number 10, I'll Ooh. play box to box. I'll, I'll slow okay. it out because our number 10, full of flair, right. you may have seen him on TikTok. You oh. may have seen him on Twitch. It's your boy, Olan Takas. Yeah, you know who it is. Olan Takas, <laughs> playing on the half shoulder, in the pockets. Give the ball into me. Get it out of my feet and we'll play. You know, it's normal stuff for Olan Takas. But we're here, born offside. I'm buzzing. You guys are going to love it. You're going to tune in every week and you're going to, it's going to be one of them shows that you just don't want to miss, you know? Exactly right. Because it's, it's as we say, a football writes itself. There's going to be storylines every week, but then there's, there's all these other little nuggets that happen maybe away from the lights, happen behind the scenes. There's plenty of stories you guys can both bring to it. You both played and watched football and experienced football all around the world. Um, I'll probably name drop a time or two as well. Hey. And um, <laughs> Born Offside. I wanted to explain why we called it Born Offside because there's that famous quote from Sir Alex Ferguson talking about Filippo Inzaghi. He said, mm. that man was born offside. And we're doing that because, you know, you, 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 you're you constantly offside when you oh play real football. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. The worst. We know about that one. Always Kat, offside. Yeah, Kat is a striker, just yeah. lazy as shit. As, yeah. as you just, I don't just, run, I just keep. Lazy yeah. striker, Kat? I have my moments. Do you, do you press? Like, do I, you press? I try. You try to Look. press? I know what I'm good at and yeah. it's kicking. Okay. Yeah. But if that means that sometimes I'm a little offside, yeah. then that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> that's enough, how it's going to be. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. And uh, for me and Olan, you know, defenders, offside is our, our friend. We see that flag, it's a yeah. friend of ours, right? Yeah, so I mean, it doesn't take me long. I'm looking over to the line and say, listen, <laughs> I know. Chuck it's it up. off. Chuck it up. You're my worst yeah, half nightmare. The, half the time is not, but hey, you got to give it a shout anyway, <laughs> yeah, you know? Exactly <laughs> right. You need to blame someone. Yeah, you're either you gotta, kicking the turf or yeah, you're, you're blaming the you're lineup. Blaming the flag, bro. So we're going to kick things off because we've got a few big things that we want to talk about in the episode today. We're going to talk about some of the money in football, David Beckham, Newcastle mm-hmm. United. There's cash rolling around left, right and centre. Um, we're also going to talk about some of the biggest results from the weekend. You're rocking that Liverpool jersey. We all know why. They absolutely disrespected United. Disgusting. At the Theatre of Dreams. What a mess. Ridiculous. <laughs> and we're going to talk about El Clasico as well, which which many call the biggest game in world football, but I don't really know if it is. That's coming up a little later in the show. But before we talk about that, I want to ask you guys, offside or onside? Here are some strange storylines from the week. The first one was in that massive game, Liverpool against United. As we know, Liverpool absolutely battered them, 4-0 up at halftime. And in the 60th minute, there were videos that came out of all the United fans just leaving. Now, I wanted to ask you, fans leaving the ground before the full-time whistle, offside or onside? Offside is the, uh, it's a bad thing, right? Offside's <laughs> a bad thing in this in this. Regard. And I think, I think, I don't, I think it's onside really, because listen, them sort of fans there work hard, pay their hard-earned cash to go watch them every single weekend mm. and you're going to deliver that performance yeah. on a big stage like that? Yeah. I'm not staying. No. no. I'm leaving. Are you any... I, I disagree. You disagree? Why I do disagree. you disagree? You're a fan. You, you're you there for the good, you're there for the bad. Mm. Why mm. would you leave? Okay. If, if I'm not wasting my time, personally. <laughs> I'm not wasting my time when I'm watching. And, and the thing is, and I think it's the standard, I know it's the manner in which you lose. You know what I mean? Like mm. if you lose in that kind of manner, mm. for me, yeah, I'm, I'm out. But don't you think it's just as bad when you, you're playing on that pitch and you see your fans leaving, walking out of the stadium? Like, are you going to, well, how does that you, make you, you feel? Well, you know that it's not good enough. You know mm. what I mean? So for them, they know at that point in time that, well, something needs to change. I know people are saying maybe Ollie's out now, mm. um, but I think they know something has to change. Like, I feel like this weekend was really the last... Mm. Last straw. The last straw. It had to have been. Yeah. Well, when you got players like Harry Maguire came out after the game and he apologised for the performance. you got players like Harry Maguire that are asking for £300,000 a week in his new contract. Let, let me just... Uh, let me just... Let me just tell you a story really quick, okay? <laughs> so, we all know about non-league football, right? Right? We've all played non-league football. We know how dirty and down, dusty it gets down there. Now, when we get beaten that badly yeah. in non-league football, you know what happens? What happens? We don't get paid. Yeah. And then we refund the fans their money. Okay. So why can't they do that at United? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I totally agree with that. That's what I'm screaming. I totally agree. 
Well, that, that's the thing. I mean, 300,000 pounds a week, Harry Maguire. I mean, Olan, I know, you know, it's off season for you, but you probably could have slotted uh, into that hey, United back hey, line. I could have slotted in absolutely fine. And done know, a better I job than just, that. Uh, I could have just blended in and said, look, take a little paycheck. I know <laughs> yeah. I could have done that too. So He was yeah. struggling. And I think that's the biggest thing. These guys yeah. are on millions of pounds. Yeah. And so you 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 pay, as, as Olan said, you pay your hard-earned money to go down there and watch them. They got to, At least you got to see some effort. Yeah. And so we're going to talk a little bit more about them later in the show, but they were, they were absolutely battered this morning. They're in trouble. Yeah. And... Um, yeah. Speaking of getting battered, though, I wanted to ask you before we move on. Have you ever been down by that many goals? Like, 4 nil down at half time. Have you ever been down by that many goals and have to... I've played a, I've played a futsal game <laughs> okay. that I'll never forget. Okay. You're it was smashed. just, you know, social calm. But mm. why is it sometimes a social calm? It's mm. like yeah. you, you, you you're it? just as frustrated as yeah, a yeah. normal mm. game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we were down, way down. This guy, I think he was literally like a Brazilian student living here playing. He ran circles around everyone. He was just mm. scoring left, right no and mercy. center. Mm. I was embarrassed. Yeah. What was the score? It was like 11 nil or something. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, see, for me... So I wanted to ask this one to Olan because... Uh, Shit. <laughs> oh, because you know something. Because, you know, as you know, Olan, like, he's a man of the world. He's played football in so many different countries. And I wanted to bring up that one, uh, that match he played against Fiorentina. Yeah. I that- just talked about a futsal game. <laughs> yeah, well, first of all, man's playing against Serie A opposition. You know? So, <laughs> at the end of the day, the standards are extremely high. So, the results in, this, in these kind of things don't really matter. We're just competing. <laughs> right? So, for me, see that one there, I, I take a little bit of pride in it because it's like, at the end of the day, I remember the striker that I put in the pocket, all right? Okay. So, I know when I was playing, yeah. he maybe bagged one, had okay. half a chance, all yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And he was a bit, he was, a, that guy now, I don't know his name, but he's worth a few million, okay. all right? So, <laughs> technically, if I was, didn't have the knee injury, all right? I would Classic be worth a couple mil as well, you know what I mean? I had a little knee injury, things went here and there, and here we are on a podcast. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think it was, yeah, it might have been close to, uh, I want to say 15, 16. Yeah, Whoa. Yeah, I want to say, I want to say around them number there. Um, <laughs> But it's one of the ones where you remember it and you just say, listen, man, that's why they're there and we're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're better for it. You're better you know for what it. I mean? Just on that knee injury, how many how many girls have you told that to at the club? If, if it wasn't for the knee, um, baby would have been like Premier League things, you know what I mean? It comes out quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> here and there. You're from England? Yeah, yeah, knee injury, innit? That's why I'm over here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that kind of leads me to my next one. Right, I want yeah. to bring it back home. I yeah. want to talk about A-League footballers. Mm. Kwame Yeboah. Mm. Good player, winger. Good looking lad, by the way. Good looking lad. Took the words out of my mouth. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, Carol, will you Jesus. calm down? Jesus. Someone Jesus. turn the heater on? Yeah. Turn the heater on? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm sweating a bit. <laughs> now, Kwame Yeboah, good looking fella. Looks a bit like an Aldi Chris Brown, right? Yeah. yeah. He, he makes, uh, he played for Brisbane Raw, got signed by Borussia Mönchengladbach, mm. came back to the A-League, mm. and he's now retired. Mm. In his 20s, he's hung him up, to be a model. He signed for Vivian's Models, mm. which um, I've seen them pop up a couple of times reputable. On, on the Instagram. You know? Yeah, pretty, yeah, oh, yeah. Pop up. Okay. Yeah. Um, Didn't they message you one? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> they probably got me. You, know, you don't check the message request. Check my DMs you quickly. Just 70 requests in there. I'll have a little look later anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I wanted to ask you guys, Kwame Yeboah quits football to be a model, mm. onside or offside? Hmm. Um, for this one... He might, to be fair, if he's got the passion for football and he's played at that professional level, there's either one or two things. He might he might pick it up in a few years and mm. be like, listen, I missed this. Mm. Or he, like I said, he'll go down that, uh, along that model path. But mm. I don't think it's a bad bad thing at all because the longevity of a football career is short. Yeah. As we know, you know, you could be done. Mm. Early 20s, you could mm. be done. 19, 20, you really don't know how long it's going to go for. So yeah. if he feels like modeling is a little bit more longevity well, that's, I mean if, for job security yeah. I feel like accountant maybe but like model like yeah, you don't see mo- many like well, what, 70, 80 year old models yeah model, but it depends what he's doing if it's high end fashion model it depends what he's doing it okay. for, let's also you know? talk about the fact that he's still young yeah. and models have an expiration date as yeah well. that's what I mean so like if he's a- going if this was like his other dream yeah. he kind of has to do it now as well okay mm, so, so if he's got two I dreams, think it's on side yeah, he's on side do you you go Kwame yeah yeah. Kwame, just slide in the DMs already. Jesus Christ, if you see this one. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, yeah, no, look, I think I think uh, there's been a few A-League players that have done that before. Joey Champness quit two years ago to be a rapper. Went over to the States and he was a rapper for a bit. Wait, hold on a minute. Yeah. <laughs> You're not hold feeling on that one? A minute. You nah, don't like nah, Aussie nah. rap? Who? Nah, wait, wait, hold on. What kind of... 
Is he back here? He's, he's back playing football now, yeah. Playing for who? He's in the A-League. He's in the A-League. Yeah, he's so back he, in the A-League. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's just... just you, you, know, could, like, you could say best of both worlds. He, he like, took he's a just break done the rap years, thing. Yeah. And the... Started rapping yeah. and still managed to come back and sign a deal. Yeah, yeah. That's out of order. That's very, that's far offside for me. That's so far offside. That is unbelievable. But you're saying the A League's way offside. There yeah, for letting them back. back in. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, we all know what you think of the standard of the A League at the moment. Oh man. Well, then, uh, <laughs> we'll Stop diving into that yet. <laughs> We've got plenty of time to dive into that. Next one. Um, Icardi. Now, Mauro Ooh. Icardi. We've spoken about him before, guys, because it's just he's a decent striker. But yeah. off the field, he just does not have his shit sorted. Mm-hmm. And he, I guess the, the biggest story for him was that he took one of his teammates' wives or fellow Argentine, Maxi Lopez, stole his wife about 10 odd years ago, getting his kids tattooed on him and all the rest. Yeah. Now, this saga now has a new chapter. He's now cheated on Wanda, who is his, mm-hmm. his missus, who, who's also his football agent. What? Yeah, she's his football agent. That's how. What? Right. Rule number one: don't mix business with pleasure. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that's a rule number yeah, one. Yeah, he, he, he broke doing? a lot of rules before he got to that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just been breaking rules left, right, and center. Right? So, so he, he cheats on her. She posts up uh, an Instagram story slamming him about it. You broke mm. up another family, this and that. He unfollows every single person on his Instagram oh, except her. Oh. And said, uh, he said oh. he said he does. He's not sure if he wants to play for PSG oh. until she takes him back. Oh. <laughs> How does PSG feel about that? They're, I mean, they're starting strikers in the that hands of a woman. That's so crazy. Offside. Oh my He's God. offside, right? That's that's like if if one of my colleagues just decided like I'm not coming in one day because my wife said something that yeah. pissed me off. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's offside. It's professional. But I mean, he's worried yeah. because she's his football agent. So next thing okay. you know, he could be playing for MacArthur. That's Bulls. He's not careful. He could be, <laughs> he could be honestly, that's what he does. He could be Perth. He could be Perth Glory. Him and Sturridge up top. <laughs> what the hell? We'll have a bit of that. <laughs> Perth, <laughs> Perth, of that. Perth, that's that's dog to Perth, man. They what, deserve what, more than that. What? Nah. Perth, two class, world class strikers. <laughs> not Surely. after that behavior. Yeah, no. It, it, it is. It is it is pretty far offside, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, pretty far offside. That's I think, well, because she's his football agent, so she'll probably pick a place where there aren't too many girls that are going to lure him away, you know, so yeah. maybe MacArthur is a good spot. Yeah, 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 yeah maybe MacArthur pulls because <laughs> nothing goes on in that town. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's just, like, everyone from MacArthur just left the chat. Yeah. Like, you've offended so many Sea people. Town, Campbelltown. Nah, my boy Charles, big up, big up Charles, man. Charles, big <laughs> man. Look, big. they're all, he's offside. No doubt yeah. about it. Mario oh, Cardi needs, needs his head checked a little bit. Uh, last one I want to talk about was we've all played football. We've all gotten into a little bust-ups on the pitch. Yeah. It happens often. You know, things oh, get yeah. heated. You Big get ones. A bit of push and shove. Yeah. I was watching a lower-level Portuguese division. So there's a team in the top flight called Vitoria Setubal, and they've got a B team that plays, I think, a third division. It's still a legit game of football. Yeah. And there was a bust-up on the pitch, on the sideline. There's videos of this. It was right near the benches. And the police came onto the field. One policeman just... just lost his shit man and started firing his gun in the air what to break a, up the fight at a football game yeah lower leagues at a football game what? everyone for, and the coaches came out afterwards saying look it was just like a push and shove which happens wow. all around the world don't know what it was like you know Looney Tunes that, that yeah that, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah no he's doing too much silence yeah. them what he's offside right? yeah that's offside come on man it's so a football offside. game Football fights happen all the time at football games. What are yeah. you doing? Bringing out guns and shooting them in the air. No, no, no. Yeah, there would right? be a gun after every game yeah, in England. Yeah, in England, yeah. The so yeah. There will be gunshots in the air all the time. No, no. So offside. far offside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very far offside. Offside. We're talking lower level football as well. Yeah. Right? It's strange. Strange to see it. But, you know, we love Portuguese football. Shout out. You can't say we don't talk about it. Yeah. Because we are talking about all football. But for now, let's go to what a lot of people talk or say is the biggest game in world football. It's El Clasico. Barca El Clasico. Madrid. You've pulled a bit of a face there. You don't rate Man, it. It's not an El Clasico anymore, is it really, Blas? It's not. Well, this is what I want to ask you. I no mean, one cares about mm, Barcelona anymore. Well, yeah. No one does. Yeah. Since Messi left, I just feel like they've been the most irrelevant club in, the, in the, football. The only relevance about Barcelona is like, how much of a disaster are they? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The conversation has changed. And they've even stooped. What's that kid's name? The new... Is it Antu Fati? Fati? They've or stooped him into a, a contract for like, how long is it? Yeah. Like seven years? He's there till like and his 20, buyout clause or is a billion. <laughs> what kind of deal? Who is his agent? Because <laughs> you need to get out of that deal ASAP because we don't know where... Bar- Why would you sign that deal? Like yeah. We don't know where Barca is going to be in the next five years. They've been you? the two biggest clubs in world football for yeah. a long time. And El Clasico was like that yeah. fixture that even if you don't watch Spanish football, you had to watch yeah. that. Yeah, I've um, been watching it for the last... But is it even years. in the top five fixtures in the world anymore? Not for no, me. No way. I mean, I lived in Spain, right? Yeah, you lived El in Barca. Clasico. I lived tell in Barcelona. Like El Clasico that. was like the game that everyone talked El about. Clasico. It was one step behind the, the Madrid derby, 
I think. Mm. I, I love yeah. seeing Atletico and, and, and Real Madrid, Madrid like oh, go really? at it. Like always a great game. Okay. But the way in two years since mm. I lived there, the way that that game has changed, mm. El Clasico, like no, like you said, nobody cares. Mm. And well, it, you're watching, you know, Ronaldo against Messi. It's just not the same. Now it's you know Memphis Depay against <laughs> Vinicius. Even this, yeah, it's not it's not the same. It just that those. Those like it doesn't hold the same weight. Like when you look at mm. the team sheet at, Bar- at Barca, you're just thinking, yeah. did they really used to have like Xavi, Iniesta, yeah. Puyol? Yeah. Why? Yeah. But you just think it's just yeah. not doesn't hold the same weight. It's same as Madrid, but Madrid obviously they still got a few players that yeah. still hold a few a bit more weight. But. Yeah. Well, what is the biggest game in world football now? <sighs> I'm gonna go. Well, if we're talking in terms of leagues, probably gonna go like everyone's gonna tune into. A Liverpool City game. That, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, Liverpool, I, I Liverpool think City is, I think, the highest quality football in yeah. the world. Yeah. But the problem is, it's City. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Yeah. A, it doesn't have that electricity. They're a massive club. Yeah. Are they? they're, they're a massive club. Like they've never won a Champions League. Can that be the biggest game in world football? It's City. Yeah, yeah. The way the way I see it as City is that their fans and their name hasn't caught up to them as a club. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. Like how successful they've been. Oh, yeah. Like it's like it's almost like a. I'm going to talk about Newcastle. It's almost like a Newcastle becoming yeah. big. Like, would they be ready for it? Yeah. We yeah. don't know. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. why I feel like City was a little bit, but I don't know. Yeah. City I think I miss the days where a Liverpool United game was the big <laughs> game. But, you know, I think after this morning's uh, actions, yeah. we know that it's not as big of a game as it used to be. Oh, yeah. A little dig there. But, United, you know, United yeah. fans. Go oh, But I am corner. also, and this is very relevant for us three, I love a Chelsea Liverpool game. Yeah. Always, I, always a good I game. love it. Always a good game. Always a good game. Yeah, when, when we love used to it. remember when Chelsea Liverpool used to always meet in the Champions League. About mm. like I think it was about 12, 13 years ago. Mm. They just kept meeting every single year in yeah. the Champions League. It is good. The thing is, the Premier League, it, it's what we get most of here in Australia. Yeah. So we see so much Prem. So it's like, is that now? Firstly, is the, the, the Prem's the best league in the world in your yeah, opinion? Yeah, hundred percent. So that's what was lacking in La Liga. It's not an exciting league. It just had that one no. game yeah, that everyone tuned into, and now that's not really. It doesn't have I think that, and in general, right now, there's such a low quality of football yeah. in the Spanish league. Yeah, and boring. I hate to say it because, like I said, I used to live there. I loved watching it, but mm, it's uninspiring. Mm. Not the same. Well, Kat, you, you spoke about you think United Liverpool. Mm. Uh, I guess they're the two most successful clubs, but mm. they're not the two best clubs in England no. at the moment. 5 0. <sighs> Liverpool absolutely taught them a lesson. Ola and Tekers, where do you even start with this one? Oh, where do you start with it? Well, the, I, the way I see it is like. I just find it hilarious because literally that midweek game against At- Atlanta and mm. Paul Scholes has given his thoughts on it. And he said, <laughs> listen, you guys play like that yeah. against a Liverpool yeah. and you will be 4-0 down at halftime. Yeah. And <laughs> lo and behold, they were like, they played the same way. Same formation. And they were 4-0 down at He half-time. saw that game in a crystal ball. Yeah, literally. Yeah. So I just feel like, oh, I've been like all over the place. Like even when you look at Harry Maguire, like, he was one of my favourite defenders when he was coming up and when he was first going to United. But I just feel like the last two to three games, he's just been off it. I don't know if he's mm. like a little bit injured. I don't know yeah. if he's not 100%, but he has yeah. not. You can see it from a mile away that he's not up to himself. And then we also <laughs> go on to talk, well, that Pogba challenge. So now <laughs> my thoughts on it was that it was an inside job. So basically Pogba and yeah, Bruno, please explain Pogba that. and Bruno want Oli at the club. Okay. Right. Yeah. So okay. how long? How long ago did uh, Bruno never misses a penalty? Right. Yeah. So he's missed that on purpose. You reckon? He misses yeah, that. Pe- he misses that penalty. That he misses that penalty on purpose, man. And what? then and then, Bruno and Pogba are tight. They're dogs. They talk every day, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then and then he's come on, and Bruno said to him, "Listen, you go on, get a red card, man down. We're definitely done out here." So right, Pogba comes on half time, bang, first ten minutes challenge goes over the ball, red card. Pogba Pogba strolls off, does a little smile. It's definitely gone in the morning. <laughs> hey, that's a, that's wow. what, that's Cons- my thoughts nah. on it. Conspiracy one hundred and one. That's Cat my thoughts on it. It's a good conspiracy, but Ole is way too safe for one it's... red card to have been. A... Yeah, he's no. But I'm saying it's a catalyst. Though, okay, now all right. It's like so they we're, lost that. we're on our sentiment. way. Yeah, we're, we're on, on our way. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The the red card I can kind of agree with you, but the penalty missing the last minute of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, that's a bit that's a bit far. I know that's a bit far. It's a bit far, yeah, it's a bit far. But look, I mean, I'll cat. I'll give you a second now. I know you've chewed our ears off about Liverpool since you walked in today, but we'll. I'll give you a second here to, to talk about Liverpool. How good were they, oh. and how good is Mo Salah? I mean, look, Egyptian roots, mm. and a Liverpool fan. Mm. I mean, how do you think I feel? Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. the man, right? 
that look they played amazing they yeah. did but I, I do think a lot of this stems from united being in shambles mm. and they walked in there and they were just ready they mm. brought their a game and it showed mm. united were not ready mm -hmm. they did everything kind of wrong yeah and you know what at the end of the day i just think a lot needs to change and liverpool could have ripped them to shreds even more if anything i feel like they held back towards the end of that game <sighs> And I don't know why. He's already dead. <laughs> I, I think it was, it was a little bit of that. I'm like, Sir Alex is in the stands. Like, yeah. be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was 5 new, and then the red card happened. They then, didn't score then, after yeah. that. But all right, I want to ask you guys a few, because Paul Pogba, I think it was Skulls, or one of them came out and said Pogba might have played his last game for United. Yeah. Is he, does he need to get out of there? Because he was like World Cup winner, right. bossing at a Juventus. Yeah. I think his career in the last three years since the World Cup, he's kind of failed he's, a little bit. He's been in right. the shadows. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's got on a little bit of a downward, downward spiral just because of the inconsistencies, mm. really. And the thing with the whole Pogba thing is like, he's always going to be the star or he always has to be the star of the yeah, show he yeah. can't just he mm. can't just blend in it's yeah. Pogba you know what I mean yeah, yeah. so it's like he's either and you're paying all that money you pay for him he has to perform he can't sit on the bench yeah. you know what I mean so it's like for him but where does he go if he's not going to go at United who yeah. else can he go to for well I was going to say where do you guys think Pogba would be best fit uh, good fit if not Pogba. United back to Juve back to back Juve to maybe him, yeah, yeah that might be a that might be a good shout. But I just want... I'm a Pogba fan, so I just want him to go to a team, play week in, week out, and just flourish. That's mm. it. You mm. know what I mean? Because he's one of... On his day, I always say this, on his day, he's one of the best in the world. He's tops, yeah. Yeah, there's would, a reason yeah. we talked about him yeah. Yeah, all yeah. those years. Yeah. I think you should go back to Juventus. They, they've been they've been garbage as well, which a lot of yeah. Serie A football. Really. And they, they got out with a draw this morning against Inter, but they were they were poor. They got a, mm. yeah. a, a penalty in the last minute, which actually, VAR was everywhere this weekend. I don't know if you guys watch much everywhere. European football, but it was no. everywhere. Really? Everything was, was just, VAR? Oh, man. Oh, like There was that game, Italy, Juventus, pe like penalty was a tackle. Not even a tackle, like a little coming together on yeah. the edge of the 18-yard box. And VAR penalty. He has a look at it, gives a penalty. Oh. Same in PSG, Mar say two goals disallowed and a red card for Hakimi another VAR the referee didn't even give a foul for it wow and VAR had back. a look at it and because he was last man red Zero card to VAR was everywhere wow. this weekend it is really changing the game really it and is. I feel like has it won oh, you over? 50-50 like some, some things I feel like the Premier League are handling it a little bit better now Yeah. whereas mm -hmm. like when it first came in it was like VAR 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 yeah. but I feel like now it's like a little bit mm. excuse me handled a little bit better but mm. I'm still not 100% yeah. sold on it at yeah. all. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I've felt that. I've always felt that way just about like VR or video refs in general. Mm. You've got to be consistent. Mm. And when there's a lack of consistency in the calls and when they actually use it, when they don't, mm. I think the Prem are probably the best in terms of consistency. Mm. Like they kind of always rely on it. Mm. But it, yeah, it irritates me. Well, we saw VAR rule out Cristiano Ronaldo's goal yeah. in that game. It was, oh, that was a good goal. some it was goal as well. What a goal! It was some finish. What a finish by and uh, like, I want to talk about because like everyone's been talking. Did about see his kick out, by the way. Well, he's, yeah, that's that's pretty bad, right? Did you see? Yeah, you saw you saw it. He's, was, he's uh, kicking him. He's kicked him. He has he has lashed out, but it's Ronaldo. You know, you can't it's, send it's him on. Yeah, it's though. like come on, it's Ronaldo. You can't really give him a red. Come on, there's like people that paid millions to watch him. <laughs> yeah. Just give him a. Were yellow they the off same the people walking out of the stadium? Though? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Probably. Mo Salah. A lot of people are saying he's the best in the world now. He is. And I thought Cristiano Ronaldo. He is. <laughs> Okay, uh, I thought Cristiano Ronaldo was going to come out and remind everyone in this yeah. game, and he had that one moment. Besides yeah. that, not much. Have we now? And Messi as well had a full game against Marseille, didn't score. He still hasn't scored in the league, in the French league, which yeah. a lot of people call a farmers league. It's farmers league. He, yeah. he, he hasn't scored in it yet. Hundred percent. Have we seen the end of Messi and Ronaldo now? Is it time for the Salas and the rest now? Is, are they not on that level anymore? Nah, I'm never I think count, it I'm is. Never counting Messi out until Messi retires. He's the best player in the world for me. Okay. Okay, but currently in the best form mm. in the world is is Mo Salah Ooh. Mohamed yeah. Salah Mohamed Salah yeah I, I would Salah. say I just feel like Mo Salah. the level that he's operating on is just, is just unbelievable disgusting. so do you think he wins a Ballon d'Or I want him to yeah but I don't think he will See, I don't think he's in the top I just don't think he will yeah. I don't think I, he's in the top if it was my decision absolutely Jorginho mm. for Ballon d'Or how do you think about that yeah <laughs> I tell you what I think the top three I think it's still Jorginho Lewandowski yeah. and Messi Georgina I actually, I hate that I agree with that. Because the thing is, like, yeah. Ballon d'Or is a 12-month conversation. Yeah, and, exactly. And with all due respect to your boy Salah, 
It hasn't yeah. been. Where was this he? Where was he three months ago? Yeah, 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 yeah it's, it's true. It's true. true though. Like he disappeared. He disappeared for a while, and yeah. I was even thinking to myself, like, what's yeah. going on here? Yeah. But this is next year's conversation with yeah. Mo Salah. But it's it should be Lewandowski. He was robbed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely robbed. He was yeah. robbed. Definitely robbed. Mm. And I, think I don't know why. What about but Jorginho? Would, I think. Look, he ticks the boxes. Listen, I'd give I'm him. I'm a Chelsea fan, but I just feel like you can't give it to us. You can't give it to a deep line playmaker. No. I just feel like the. Like, but he's so smart. I know he's so he's so he's so smart, so good on the ball. But I just feel like, like even Van Dijk said it as well. It's like it just shouldn't be given to, like a centre back or mm. a CDM or you know what I mean. Because I don't know, I don't know if there's I don't know if there's a huge argument for it. But I just feel like attacking players, some of the things that they do with the ball, so it's it's those, those it's harder are, to but do. That's what I'm saying. And it's also when you're thinking about people going to watch the games and sell tickets or mm. whatever. It's like people are coming for that little bit of magic from yeah. Neymar, but a little is bit that, of magic from Messi. Is that the problem though with like the Ballon d'Or, right? It's such mm. a popularity vote that you rate some positions so much higher I, than yeah. others. Okay. But at the end of the day, like uh, this is, I'm a striker, you guys are defenders. Yeah. Like, are you any less worthy of an award for winning as I am? Because yeah. I scored the goal, but you saved the other exactly. goal. Yeah, exactly. I, exactly. I'm, I'm, and you I'm, can I'm be poor for 85 it. minutes and then you can still- And I am, you I'm know. offside <laughs> all the time. Exactly, you cannot lose concentration as a CB, like. But I look, and I also come from the perspective, Virgil van Dijk, when he's not on the pitch, I don't feel safe yeah. for Liverpool. Oh, really? And when yeah. he is, I do. Yeah. So like, it's crazy. Well, defenders you know, are powerful. Yeah, but Virgil van Dijk won a PFA and, and Ruben Diaz won PFA Player of the Year. And I think yeah. that's more of a realistic award for Mo yeah. Salah. I think he's almost already got one hand on the yeah. PFA Player of the Year. Yeah. Yeah. No one in the Prem is coming close to him at the moment. Huge win for Liverpool. Uh, potentially Massive. title favourites. Yep. <laughs> You're getting a bit At the throw upset up over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> had, had enough of them already. But yeah, no, potentially definitely um title favourites for Liverpool. It's like it's, you can't I can't really can't really call it mm. at the moment. Like I think us, Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool. Yeah. Um Yeah, top three. That's the top you can't and I, and at the moment I can't call it because it's it's Brentford? gonna be <laughs> Yeah, maybe Brentford. <laughs> The people's team, um, <laughs> but you just you can't call it. You don't no. know who's gonna. You don't know who. It's no. gonna come down to it's a long who season. drops points it's against the flipping too. Brighton, or yeah. who gets injured, or yeah. that's what it's gonna come down yeah. to, really. Mm. You know. Yeah, I just can't stand Liverpool fans, man. Oh, I hate yeah, them. we suck. Especially here in Australia, oh, like, so they didn't exist here we yeah. five yeah. years ago. And yeah, they yeah, just yeah, came all the fans. Where have you come from? That's what I want to know. Yeah, you got come out the woodwork. I'm nowhere. I've never seen any Liverpool fans before. This is really big coming from Chelsea every fans. Every one oh, in three really person big. is a Liverpool fan. If you, if you, if you see like on, on my TikTok, yeah. the biggest videos that I've ever had is anything. When I say anything about a Liverpool player, I oh, say... Yeah, mate. that's because Trent Alexander-Arnold is the best. God we forbid, say Reese James, James <laughs> who scored a sublime goal at the weekend. Little dink, yeah? In a 7 nil <laughs> drumming against Norwich is better than Trent. I don't know, man. You, you guys make it up. I know everyone's saying Trent, 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 but, you know, James... Man, I, I, you know, I, I made it all the way to like Liverpool Twitter over in Liverpool. Like these scousers wow. coming through. Scousers, like, scousers, can you imagine scousers, how, how triggered they were? It was on Twitter, right? Well, they were, they were Firstly, angry. I'm Australian. Yeah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Secondly, Strike I'm, one. You're getting dragged through the mud. I'm, a, I'm an Australian <laughs> saying that Trent isn't as good as Reese James or, mm. or isn't in that echelon because I was picking a combined Chelsea Liverpool team and I put Reese James yeah. um, and I said I think he's he's a little bit overrated this was at the start of the year yeah. to be fair he started playing out of his skin yeah, after no, I said that yeah that he, I think he saw that and yeah. said yeah, yeah maybe he, did. he might have got like one for 22 minutes but, hey Trent you see this uh, this Australian just talking about you all right <laughs> <laughs> all right I've got a little performance for him this week and then like <laughs> might have, you never know so Nah, but that's that's a good argument. But yeah, because Liverpool fans easiest to trigger. I mean, he he wouldn't have even. I don't even think he would have even been as triggered as some of the Liverpool fans. Oh, yeah. They were going. No off, way! No, no, no. They, they, they take it very personally. Talk about our trains like that. Oh, that's good. That wasn't bad, right? I liked that. <laughs> You'd fit right like in. That. Yeah, no, I'd rather not though. Uh, Skulls, mate. <laughs> but no, congrats to them. They they waited a long time for oh, the Premier League. Oh, thanks so much. Right? They're, they're a yeah, top side. was it? Thirty years. Yeah, very long. Anyway, they're a good side now, but. What I do want to talk about, 
also, because there's storylines all over this, it's money, cash. Mm. Now, you mentioned that at the moment we've got Chelsea, we've got City, we've got Liverpool fighting for a Premier League title. In a couple of years' time, that, that title race may look a whole lot different. Newcastle United were bought by a Saudi Arabian fund something. Of right? some kind. Well, they've said it's not. Some sort of dodgy Saudi Arabia. Yeah. They're saying it's <laughs> not the government. Organization. With, with cash. Yeah. yeah. Is it's, it legal? Is it not? We don't know. But it is. <laughs> well, a year ago, this purchase was blocked. Oh, is it? And, oh, and oh, they yeah. said, yeah, well, it was, there was a TV rights deal issue. Uh -huh. And they said also uh, human rights problems. Now, the TV rights thing got solved. The human rights thing just got kind of just so moved to the still side. some sort of dodgy business going on there. But no yeah, one yeah. On. No one really but minds. Just turning a blind eye. Turn a blind eye. Blind the cash. All right, fair now enough. that the Premier League rights deal sorted, that's all fine. You can buy the club. They are filthy rich, man. Mm. These guys are, filthy. I think they're worth about 10 or more, 20 times Man City's owners. <sighs> Jeez. Yeah. We're into the hundreds yeah. of billions. Three hundred billion dollars. So what we saying? What Mbappe and Haaland and them could do, go down there? <laughs> Up in the tune? No yeah. way. I've had a few people. The say Geordies. This, that if, like, can you see like Mbappe and them playing at Newcastle? Not in yet. In the town like, with Scotty T and no, <laughs> Scotty T, Gaz, Gaz, oh, Gaz and them. Nah, no way. <laughs> There's nothing to do down there, bro. Yeah. They'll be bored. You've but been up to Newcastle? I've been there, yeah. I've been there a few times. But it's not, I it's bet not, you it's have. Not a, it's not a, it's it's a good night, night out, bro. Good night out, yeah. Good night out, yeah. Decent birds, anyway. <laughs> 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 but I just feel like, you know what? It's, the Premier League is turning into one of those leagues. I know we uh, people say, oh, the Super League matters. This, it pretty much is becoming the Super League because it's going to yeah. become basically the top 10 that have got these billion dollar, like really can buy whoever they want kind of yeah. thing. And then those that can't. So yeah. well, that's what it's going to be. The Super League's not gone. I also mm -hmm. read earlier this week that the Super oh. League might be coming back. Oh, my God. Oh, not again. Like, this time they want to open it up to over 100 clubs to join in this Super League system and just basically what? screw over UEFA. UEFA are sweating at the moment. UEFA, yeah, as they were. Everyone wants to get rid of UEFA. What's going on? They're struggling, right? They're, they're, they're sweating at the moment. I caught up. I'm about to name drop. It was my first name drop of the Ooh, day. But I, here I we caught go. up with Arsene Wenger last week, right? Oh, God. Oh, that's what a big a, name sorry. drop there. What did you say? <laughs> you, Arsene, you went like Zero to 100. That uh, was a big uh, name drop. Yeah, Arsenal fans. Yeah. Get him. Yeah, I was having a chat to Arsene Wenger as you last do. week. As you do. Sorry, he, wait. Arsene was talking to you. Arsene was chatting to me. Yeah. What's right. he he's like, a, he's a big What's fan. he like? He's a big fan. He said, I saw you on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I saw what? you on the TikTok. Did did you, what did he think hold of on a minute, Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. He didn't say he's all online tech, is there? What? <laughs> Send him my TikTok. <laughs> you, know, you know what he did say to me? You know what he did say to me? I, I, this was actually before we hit record on the interview. Yeah. He, um, I was wearing a, an AS Monaco jersey that got sent by a guy we know at Monaco. And it's a player edition one. So it's super skin tight. It's a large, but it's like, it's a it's a schmedium at best, right? It's one of those ones, yeah. Yeah, it's full player edition because Kappa. And we all know they're, they're super tight fit. So I had it on and when I started the call, he was like, this is a very nice jersey. That's a terrible accent. <laughs> yeah, well, but he complimented my jersey and I was like, thanks. And I was like, look, it's a, it's a large, but it's super tight. And he's like, I can tell you're an athlete. Well done. Oh, wow. So you got a compliment from Arsene Wenger. Arsene Wenger called that me an athlete. That should be a new Instagram wow, bio. That, I know. That's I know. an achievement. Man. It was big. It was big. He's, no, he's, he's a great fellow. It was, it was his 72nd birthday. So all that. But wow. we were talking about, he's working at FIFA mm -hmm. and he's the main guy pushing a World Cup every two years. Mm -hmm. Every two years, that's Massive. Yeah, and we'll talk. And, and and I questioned him on it, and mm. he cuts me off while I'm Ooh. saying it. And he was just like, "Yeah, there is a lot of opposition, but if without these ideas, then we cannot move forward." Yeah, that's the and, one. And, and, and the he gets, philosopher. Yeah, he's, 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 <laughs> he's a philosopher. I can see the game in ten years' time. <laughs> I love it. Well, that's what he said. He said he's planning. So uh, after the World Cup in 26, he wants a World Cup in 28 and 30 and two years wow. every year. So w what it would do is it would it would kill. UEFA it would kill the Euro Massively. it would kill the Copa America there'd be mm. no point in any of those mm. you would just have a World Cup every two years wow thoughts I do I love don't... the World Cup mm. I do but if it was happening as often would it be no. as special I think no. what makes it special is that it's every four years it is yeah. right you, you and I'm not gonna to lie to you maybe it's against the grain but I don't actually get that excited over international football like and World so Cups it, as well? Yeah, if it was that often, I don't think it would get as excited But that, that's because, you know, how often are Egypt fighting for the oh, World Cups? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> Absolutely just, not. Just, Wait, you guys even to, been to one? Just to back when up was the last my one family, you guys went to? I didn't I'm know. Lebanese and Irish as well, and the Irish uh, are sometimes around. Uh, yeah, oh, Irish. Right, I'd rather Egypt. Yeah, for real. I'll take Salah any day. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like um, <laughs> that was like, that, no, that, you got I, me. I, now you got me. I do agree. I do agree with the whole international. Mr. England thing, over here. Because uh, um, when did we finish again? <laughs> Finals. Oh yeah. Um, unlucky not to win. But we move forward. <laughs> but um, I, I do feel like it is a it is the kind of game of who can get the team in the least amount of time, yeah. well oiled together, mm. and playing in a 
half a system because they haven't really got enough time to gel and all of that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's it's probably not the highest standard of football, but I love yeah. international football. I yeah. love it because clubs like you, we just we just spoke about money, right? You can mm. you can buy players at club level. You can't buy players That's at international true. level. It's a system. It means they invested at a young level. It means yeah. they've got fans, infrastructure. These guys, you have to play for your country. You can't play for anyone else. I I think that that's the purest form of football. It's actually my favorite football. Oh, I would trade wow. club football for international. Oh, no, that's, that's you offside. know what? That's, offside. <laughs> that's way offside. Get out of in the comments. <laughs> that's fucking but offside. That, what I mean is, if, if I had to lose, like if I had to lose the Premier, as in the Premier League doesn't exist tomorrow, mm. the Champions League doesn't exist tomorrow, mm. but the World Cup still exists, I'm yeah. still happy. You know what? But if I had to lose the World Cup and keep all the club football, nah. Oh, wow. Just, See, that's, that's, that's the difference that's, between me growing up. Yeah. Okay, we can talk about my ethnic heritage Here later. Go. Mm-hmm. Go on, yes. The fact that Liverpool was the family connection for me, right? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. you have these amazing backgrounds associated with you, Italy, Argentina. Yeah. Yeah. No wonder you like international football. Yeah, but what about when the Socceroos make the World Cup, which we're, we're, we're hopefully going to make it's our It's exciting, fifth. but they oh, don't yeah. make it far enough for me to like but freak just the out. Fact that yeah, we're... we're <laughs> Don't you? England won one World Cup yeah, yeah, at yeah, home. Yeah. Well, we're, we're always in and around there. You know what I mean? We're in and around. I don't know, Socceroos, when was the last time you guys made it past quarters and then ones there? I don't know. No, we never made the quarters. <laughs> <laughs> My point exactly. Jesus. And I don't want to I don't want to bash my own country. Yeah. But they don't inspire me the way that Have Liverpool inspires me. Have you been to a World me. Cup? No. Have you been to a World Cup? No. Nah. I- Wait until okay. you Okay, yeah. next podcast you is at the World Cup. Yes. Off, born offside, sponsor yes. us. Let's yes. get down there. Yes, <laughs> because when you go to one, like I went to the last one group stage, you're not even at an Australia game. You're at like Peru versus whoever mm. and yeah. it's just the vibe in the uh, stand. You know when you watch club football, I've been to some big games, you've been to big games in Europe, so have you. You go to a club game and it's there's a lot of animosity, which is fine, but it's like, I hate you, you have at international football people swapping shirts people like it's just it's love. It, it is it's love it's what football is all about it's love. I, don't, I, I can see what you're saying in that yeah. aspect I can see what you're saying I, I get it yeah and I'm, I'm down to experience it yeah. and, and I hope I change my mind yeah well you know I'll see you guys in Qatar <laughs> yeah see maybe guys. I'll see you in Qatar and yeah. you know who else we're gonna see in Qatar who Beckham David Beckham David he's a, he's Beckham he's a good looking fella man Becks, speaking of good looking fellas right. Exactly right. Spe- he is, oh, he is absolutely I mean it's just like it's he's gone better with age as well he wasn't he, that good looking as a player yeah it's like well he just, went through the different haircuts yeah, and then he fair. found his look I think do you feel like he was the first footballer that was like different in terms of like different haircuts like stylish fashion all of mm. that like like the whole package yeah. do you feel like he was the first one of those he was like the first rock star footballer yeah, yeah. 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 Like and, and he wasn't I mean, he was a good player, Bex, but like, oh, he so. wasn't. It's not like, you know, Diego Maradona had that rock star thing because he was Diego Maradona. Yeah. Whereas I don't think Bex is in one of the no, top Bex, players but ever. Bex had like that celebrity mm, status. Debatable. Really? In terms of free kicks. Yeah. He's up there. With nobody the, can bend it like Beckham. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But like, as in, far as, in terms it, of free kicks, he's up there. With, he has to be up yeah, there with the top kicks, five yeah. free kick takers yeah, ever free kicks, in history. Yeah. In history. <laughs> Claude's is like, but how many free kicks? No, no, but like, you talk English players, like, is he even at the level of like Wayne Rooney? Uh, yeah, is I, he would, some- I would say skulls. I would say he gets a mention Owen. in in mem in things that are mem. How do you even say? <laughs> um, like most memorable about England, yeah. like yeah. that free kick against um, Greece. Yeah. Greece. Yeah, that's everyone. Iconic. Every England fan. It's iconic. Remember, like, yeah, so yeah. he's done stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah That yeah. people are going to remember for generations. Yes, but you know what I, mean? I, yes. I agree with you in that. I think he had that celebrity status. Like yeah. everybody knows his name, but how many people can actually? tell you how he played football yeah yeah not right. as Rooney, yeah. you know yeah. amazing football yeah. it was look, it was class nonetheless and like if you look at some of the switches some of the crosses he used to whip at, at in yeah. that real madrid galactico team like yeah he was, he was, he was yeah. in that madrid team as yeah well. he was in that madrid team but that madrid team was getting bossed at the time by mm. barca regardless top player yeah uh while we are talking about him right. now he's a good looking fella he owns into miami he's he's doing biz but uh, he's actually just signed to be an ambassador for Qatar, not only for the World Cup, but just for the country of Qatar. The country of Qatar. The, the country of Qatar for the next 10 years. Ten so get this right. Wow. Get this. So just he's going he's gonna to just basically say really nice things about the Qataris. And he yeah. gets paid 15 million pounds a year for 10 years. 150 million oh, pounds to say nice things about Qatar. Well, I'll say whatever you want for that <laughs> kind of money, mate. Not even flipping whatever you just, whatever you want me like to you say. take what? 10% of that. That's what I mean. That, that's what got me thinking. I got thinking, because I remember Kat, you, 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 you're big on this whole sports washing thing and yeah, you think yeah. it's wrong. Massive. But if I flick you 15 million pounds, 
a year. Yeah, I'll, I'll be the face of guitar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah very you brush your teeth with guitar, and I'll be like, <laughs> "Wow, yeah, whatever you need, yeah. you let me know." Like, so, what's he gonna do? Like, do we know what he's gonna do for the World Cup? Is he gonna be there? He's gonna be there. Uh, he's presenting. Gonna be... He's gonna be all yeah. that sort of stuff. Well, Tim Cahill's already an ambassador. Oh, really? So Tim Cahill, what, what are they paying Guitar? Tim? I don't know. But Nothing you know. comparison to that. I bet you. <laughs> well, I don't know. Third of that. I bet you. We what? need to get Tim on the show and ask. Hey, man, like Tim, get us. Potentially. I hate to do this again to you guys. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Go on. Name drop. Spoke to him a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> oh, God. And he's living there. He's he, living in he Qatar. He lives in Qatar. He's permanent. already there. He lives in Qatar and he hangs out regularly. They go and check out the stadiums with Kafu. Oh. So he's there, Kafu. They, they've got like an ambassador from each area of the world. So Ali Al Habzi's there. Oh. Um, I think Roberto Carlos goes down often. These type of guys, they've got people from all around the world. Now, Beckham's probably the biggest one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they've got this little team. And then and just the other day, he was putting up stories on Instagram, checking out all the stadiums. They were showing with the VIP area, taking them onto the pitch, change rooms, showing all the stadiums. So that, that's, that's a pretty good job. That's right, right. very that cool. Very, very good job. But, but it's wrong. It's still wrong. It's still okay? wrong because it's, I always <laughs> think like, oh, the, the, and the only reason why some of these massive competitions, I, I do and I don't agree with because after the competition, mm. who mm. uses these stadiums? Yeah. What happens with yeah, these stadiums? Well, I'm about to, I'm, I feel like I'm I'm on the payroll of the Qatari government. Here, here we because go. You know what they're actually doing? This was part of their bid. Yeah. All this, they're going to keep only, I think, one or two stadiums. Mm. All the ones that aren't being used, they're actually built in a way that they can be deconstruct, deconstructed, shipped to countries in Africa that can't afford their own stadiums and rebuilt there. Okay. Yeah, no, I actually, I'm going to applaud that one That's as well. Class. They've thought of everything, right? That they is really class. have. Whoever yeah. is, Why has no one thought of that before? Well, I know, right? What the hell? That's Whoever sick. is running the behind yeah. the scenes there knows yeah. what they are doing. My God. Sick, well, let's not forget these guys won the bid over Australia. We spent 40 million on our bid for that World Cup. Mm. We got one vote. So, you know the, you know the, what, so you know how the bidding works? Yeah. I don't really don't know how the bidding works, I'll yeah. be honest with you. You started that like you were going to explain yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I like, I'm, I'm guessing Claude's might know. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm headed over to Claude's, but like, so if, so if you bid 40 mil, is that 40 mil of your money no, no, gone? So you, you're not, no, no, no. So oh, you, don't, okay, you, don't, you don't bid with money. You actually spend it on your own like uh, infrastructure. So you, bend it on, oh. you spend it on like the presentation, the video. Like we had a video. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It is the worst video you've oh, ever really? seen. It's about a cartoon kangaroo that steals the World Cup from Switzerland. <laughs> and like Crocodile Dundee makes an appearance. Oh, like no. you got to watch this thing, bro. It's kangaroos, I think it's, mate. That, that's your next React video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to watch you it. You have yeah, to watch I'm it, have to watch that. No Stream wonder that you shit. didn't get the flipping bid. <laughs> You're out here putting kangaroos and having them hopping around in videos. <laughs> no, I actually have it. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, okay, no. I'm As an gonna, Aussie, before the next podcast, I'll watch it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah no, it does hurt. Yeah. Watch it. That's your homework, guys. Okay. But uh, they spent a billion dollars on their bid. Now, what that means, I mean, half of that's probably bribes into the right pockets. But <laughs> don't know. as well as everything else, I should watch what I say. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but there is the human rights issue, right? Yeah. When you this is the same story with Newcastle. When yeah. you involve these governing bodies who yeah. are dabbling in stuff that mm. not everyone agrees with mm. it's like where do you stand on that stuff because I, I struggle a little bit I totally get where Beckham's coming from though like would I say no to that much money no, no, but no. but he doesn't need it he really doesn't he doesn't just, just doing it probably to stay relevant because it's going to be the World Cup it's going to be someone's going to be, everyone's going to be like, oh be for Beckham again but does he need it no yeah, he doesn't need the money for the last five years yeah, but 150 million pounds man yeah, it's pounds it's a lot of money it's 300 million dollars for us yeah that's crazy that's a lot of money that's a lot of money man anyway look <laughs> Nonetheless, good him. on him, Bex. We still good love Bex. Him. Yeah, good on him. We haven't, we haven't lost him. We still love nah. him. I'm conscious of time. We're flying with this. But I just wanted to also, while we're on the topic of FIFA and money and all yeah. the rest, you're a Twitch streamer. Yeah. You play a bit of FIFA. Twitch now and then, yeah. Right. We, we haven't played each other, uh, but I'm keen to have a game. You play a bit of FIFA, Cat? I dabble. You dabble I a bit of FIFA? FIFA. Okay. I hate FIFA. I hate Ultimate Team. Okay. <laughs> and um, um, FIFA, you are absolutely <laughs> robbed. So you yeah. rob people for yeah. their money. Yeah. <laughs> you make us <laughs> think that if we put money into this game, we might actually get a Ronaldo. I feel like this yeah. is turning into like yeah. a or get one, but we won't. Mm. We will not. Well, uh, there goes any chance of an EA Sports sponsorship for us. That's but, absolutely fine. But <laughs> we can get a Pez one. Yeah. <laughs> well, EA Sports. Does that game even exist anymore? Did you see the latest Pez ones? They gave it to us for free. <laughs> 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 well, Pez, what's happened? Man? Well, well, listen, this FIFA's FIFA's going to struggle as well because um, oh. they actually their rights deal with FIFA, so EA Sports and FIFA, their mm -hmm. rights deal's ending. Oh, they didn't agree to a, a, a oh, an, that's an extension, so it's not going to be called FIFA anymore. It's oh, probably going to be called no. EA Sports Football or something. Oh my oh, god! No, 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 no. Apparently, FIFA wanted a billion dollars to extend. Wow, I mean, give it to them. 
No, yeah. they, they're not. They're not. They're, it's fallen through. So who knows what's next? Pez might come back. No, we're in this. Can you imagine? When that? you look at just what is happening in the world of football right now, yeah, between United losing five 0 to Liverpool, not yeah. to bring it up again, yeah, yeah. and then this yeah, with yeah. FIFA yeah. and and you got, it's just, we're yeah, in a transitional phase. It's insane, it is. isn't it? The and sports it, changing. It's insane. And money is the root of all evil. Yeah, it is. That's right. I thought you said women were. Women as well. <laughs> 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 but hey, if there are, if there are any uh, any sponsors that are out there, then we will welcome it. And any women for Oland as well. Uh, hey, um, I got a couple, a couple in my DMs, but I'm not looking oh. at them. You know I mean? I'm focusing on myself. That's, that's when you know we're going way over time. <laughs> yeah, when yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. when you know we're going to pull him up and call oh it there. Oh my god! And guys, this is usually the time in the show where we want to hear questions from you, whatever's on your mind. As you can probably figure out, it doesn't just have to be football related. It can be absolutely anything. So slide into our DMs, not Oland's DMs. Do not you do not want to be there. Don't come uh, in my DMs unless it's professionally professional or you're a woman <laughs> you of high stature anyway <laughs> you don't want to be there please <laughs> I'm joking I'm joking I'm uh, done. So, but, I'm but done. please slide into our DMs use whatever hashtag we end up throwing out there and yes. uh, and let us know whatever you want to talk about or hear about uh, we'd love to get you involved isn't that right Kat? Absolutely. Yeah. Came for the questions. Let's yeah, go. Th- threw you under the bus there. You really did. What, what, uh, what we are, we are going to sign out now we are out of time Kat uh, if you could describe this podcast in one word what would it be? What can people expect? Or exciting. Oh, that's just so boring, isn't it? <laughs> what the hell? Cat, Come you had, on, you had the whole Kat, time to think of terrible. You came up We're with not ex- selling this show like that. Again. Ask me again. No, Run it again. Olam? <laughs> me? I'm going authenticity. Oh. Come on. How was that better than mine? Yes. Come that's on. Good. That is no, good. that was not better than mine. That was better than yours. That no, was good. It was authentic. Authentic. It's what exciting. Yeah. Come on. Exciting. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> Maybe I'm excited. <laughs> exciting. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are we going to what end about now? you, Claude? What's yeah, your Claude, word? Actually, Claude, yeah. Go on, Come Claude. on, Claude. Ask the questions around here. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, What's your I, word? I would say that this podcast is going to be a necessity. Oh, Ooh, okay. A necessity for uh, all football just, culture fans here I in like Australia. That. I'm just saying And around the world, anyway. I, I like I'm just that. embarrassed in like my word now. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's exciting. Yeah, it's, it's a necessity. And it's authentic. Oh, that's big. That could just be our bio. No, nice. take, take out Kat's one. We'll get another one for Kat. We'll go, <laughs> we'll go authentic. We'll ask her I, was, I just can't wait for this and every week. one more. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been, uh, it's been awesome having your company. You know where to find all of us on all our socials. Get involved next week and we'll see you then.